Good morning, eBay buyers and eBay sellers. Saucy James here. Uh, this is a wonderful video. If you don't like the video, then you can read my wonderful article. If you don't like the wonderful article, then I'm not too sure what to tell you. Bought a Dell Precision 7730 laptop workstation thingamajig. Uh, the seller stated it came with integrated graphics. It was for $830. Spent about $900 in taxes at the end. And yeah, it's uh, it, it had showed it came with integrated graphics. Uh, in the end, what had happened was I'm assuming this thing got dropped or kicked, but for some strange reason, reason inside, it's not an MXM GPU. It it's uh the connector you know type isn't MXM. Uh, it has it's it has a little a little cable on one side, but. There's three Dell DGFF connectors. That's what Dell says. I'm not really sure what these connectors are called. Connectors are called. But uh, um, of the three, two of them look like they were damaged. Uh, I say that because the plastic in it was kind of smushed and there was debris in the pin grids. And I had to lift up a few of the, uh, the pins um, to make the laptop work. Um, and I say that because I had a Dell or I had an Alienware Aurora first gen i7 system that was obviously, it, it was completely gutted. I was at an e-waste, uh, place in El Cajon. It was completely gutted. Everything was, 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 was removed, but the motherboard had bent in pins. I got that thing. I unbent the pins, put in a CPU and a, uh, of course a, a cooler and it worked. And uh, like that, this kind of happened, this did the same thing too. So if you come across a one of these machines and the, for some odd reason, the dedicated graphics card stops working or when you connect it and it freaks out, there's no video on there. And it also has damage, looks like it got dropped. I don't think that the conversation is being had in an honest way um, you might, you could just reseat those three connectors and it could work. Uh, another thing you can do, say if you're afraid of doing the pin grid or if you break them because they're very delicate, uh, you can buy these for about, I think 20 bucks each uh, link or visual right there. You could buy them for like $20 each. They're used, they're pulled. If you want to spend more money, you could buy them new for like $60 in China. Yeah, and uh, that's that's uh, basically the video. Um, there's a few things where I had to do that. You know, I had to diagnose the machine. Okay, uh, in the firm in the BIOS, there was it did not detect the graphics, and nor did uh, hardware info detect the graphics after I had Windows 10 installed. So, first thing you got to do, go to BIOS, reset the uh, settings. Reset the uh, you know, reset the default settings. Check check there. Okay, do that first, so that you know you have the graphics card. Uh, next thing you would I guess would do well I guess you could visually inspect it because that's what I did and I opened up the, the the desktop or the laptop right. Yeah, it came with a quadro card. I reconnected that little connector. Um, that didn't do the trick. Updating the firmware didn't do the trick. Uh, and there was something else I thought I had to do. But yeah. All that stuff did not work. And also, you have to make sure you have the original connector. This system, Dell is really weird with their AC adapters, and they will deny you, you know, the full, you know, like the... <laughs> they will... Basically, if you don't have the original 240-watt connector for this particular system, um, it will not power up the graphics card. And I think in some cases it might not power up the CPUs all the way. So yeah, you have to buy that specific one. Um, this is my AC adapter that I have, uh, for this laptop. And, um, there's some other ones that are compatible, but it Dell's really weird. Sometimes they, I don't know, e even when you have an overpowered, AC adapter, it will, it, I'm just saying it might not work on certain laptops. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's all I had to do. Um, I guess the rest you want to see, the, uh, we'll do the kind of the instructional. 
it's uh it's not that good and i'm gonna skip this took about like two hours of diagnosing with a few beers and yeah so let's go ahead and go into this i'm a liar the video i recorded was very bad so see the teardown off of i fix it Basically, once you get into the the machine, remove the the three connectors, six screws, uh, Phillips. You should. This, it's the same Phillips screwdriver that you should be using, a P1 or P0 or P00, whatever it is. And they come off. Um, they shouldn't be. It's not a super tight fit, so don't like, you know, over over rip it or whatever. And the connectors come off fairly easily. You see my messy messy handling. Um, it i don't know <laughs> it's it's uh it, it it they're they're fairly strong just don't smush it you know and i took out the graphics card i'm not sure why i, I thought I was, I was thinking about redoing the thermal paste but i uh didn't and i was checking to see if there was frame damage in there but there wasn't it's 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 a weird weird thing but luckily no capacitors came out or any of that good stuff so photo of the the connectors and then there's one of it zoomed in where we can see some of the uh bent pins uh, there was, I think there was, was that all of them? It, it's kind of hard to see the, the, I'm sorry, my camera sucks. There's a video of it as well. Uh, but, um, yeah. And <laughs> unfortunately the, the angle that I had of the repair, if you saw the, from the preview was actually not that good. So yeah, just uh, get download that API so you can download downvote this video because it's uh, not really that clear of an instructional video. But hey, somebody else could go ahead and do it way better because this is what happened to me. What pins were bad? I'm not sure. What the hell was that? It was like an airplane or something going around. But yeah, it's um just don't use too much force. And if you do do too much force. And it sticks out a little bit too much to your liking. You could push it back down. Just uh, don't press it so much because then you eventually uh, pressing up and down will probably um, it'll stress the 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 pin so much and it might break off, which I think uh, has happened a few times um, with me. But yeah, that's me connecting the laptop again, and then the heatsink uh, for some odd reason the little the little uh, glue or whatever thermal pad was smushed. I'm not sure how. Probably because it was removed before. There's me with the uh, hardware info. I checked it out and it shows it on both the uh, things of hardware info. I was super hyped. I was super excited uh, looking up the uh, parts, you know, worked. I went on Dell's site to download the latest driver strangely it didn't download the it didn't notice that there was a change in hardware I'm not sure why um, but I just uh, got a oh yeah this dragon's milk which is a pretty good uh, brew to have um, but yeah I went to Windows update and solved it came with the driver uh, you could get it from Nvidia's website but I just do Windows update for pretty much everything and then figure out if anything's bad and one thing I figured out is that this thing doesn't have a backlit keyboard, which is kind of weird. But uh, yeah, I went into my uh, BIOS settings and uh, I checked to see uh, what the system sp uh, specifications were. And this time it actually does show that it comes with, um, it shows two graphics cards. It shows the Intel UHD and the NVIDIA Quadro. Um, sometimes Sometimes it would uh, only show either or on, on some of the older uh, latitudes or precision, I want to say. But, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much you have a success if all that happens. Um, last thing I would say, I did not change the thermal paste on this machine. So, um, I don't know how, I mean, I'm, I'm going to eventually do it when I do the frame uh, change. But... Yeah, it's so far has been working good. Been using it for like a week or two. I've played like, I don't know, like maybe 12 hours of League of Legends on it. I'm sorry. And it's, nothing has happened wrong. No overheating, no blue screens, no artifacts or anything. So, uh, yeah, I lucked out big time. I'm, I might sell this machine. I might keep it. I'm not too sure. But 
that's the uh, end of the video. It didn't go how I wanted, but whatever. Go ahead and like, dislike, or make... Hey, if, if you you have one and it works, make your own video and <laughs> comment, <laughs> comment saying that your video is better. I don't know. <laughs> but, hey... Never give up on these machines, on any machines. I love e-waste. I love, uh, I collect ThinkPads. But, yeah, the uh, bargain fine, I guess. I saved a few bucks. Not not a killer deal. If I got it for 500 bucks, that'd be a different story. But it was on eBay for a long time for this reason. Because um, if it was a great deal, it would have been gone. So I got it, and I made the video. So I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.